Well, you may not know it, but many cities and counties throughout Idaho are part of a group which has insurance against acts of terrorism. They also have the option to purchase their own policy for additional coverage. As Jeff Platt reports, one city is opting not to get that additional coverage. The policy would cost CUNA taxpayers about $40,000, which is why their treasurer John Marsh says the money can be spent better elsewhere. Well, insurance is kind of iffy. You pay into it, you pay into it, you get a return, only if something bad happens. I think they should use it, yeah, to uh, protect the citizens that live here in CUNA. Even though they are not buying the additional insurance, CUNA is covered. The city is part of a collective called Idaho County's Risk Management Program, or ICRIM, which covers all the municipalities which are a part of it up to $50 million total for the year. The city would have that uh, coverage for terrorist activities afforded to it, and we would not be hung out to dry. That coverage costs the city no additional money, and because Marsh says the risk of an attack exceeding the iCrim coverage is low, it makes sense to spend the roughly $40,000 on improvements. Most people I spoke to say it should be spent on amenities for kids. The park down here could use some, some sprucing up. Maybe like a rec center, YMCA. Indoor swimming pool for the kids. Another man I spoke to thinks CUNA shouldn't use the money to give back to the citizens. They should just give them a refund. If it's taxpayer money, why not give it back to the taxpayers? The only downside of that idea is $40,000 split amongst the population of CUNA only comes out to about $3 a person. Now, Marsh does admit there are some risks involved in not purchasing the additional policy, but those would only come into play should multiple municipalities within ICRIMP be attacked in the same year. Jeff Platt, KBOI 2 News.